Hello there, it's Justin from Haunts Wargaming. So today we are going to be building some alien boneyard terrain. I picked out a few skeletons and skulls on uh, thingiverse.com and I printed them out on my Anycubic Photon Mono. I just found a few different sculpts that I liked and uh, kind of pieced them together. I laid them out on a sheet of MDF and just kind of roughly outlined how I wanted the uh, bases to look like. At this point, I still didn't really have a concrete plan of what I wanted to do, but it was kind of coming together as I went. When I cut these pieces out, it was about to rain, so I was like really in a hurry, and uh, I literally like just barely got them done before it started pouring. I wanted to uh, actually sculpt some elements for this project just to show that you can do this without a 3D printer. And I also wanted to test out different types of putty. I used uh, green stuff and milliput, and then I used a combination of the two. So I used those to sculpt some rib bones and I just wanted them to kind of be jutting out of the ground. And uh, the brownish ones, those are the mixture of the two. After testing things out on this project, that's kind of what I, uh, I think I prefer is a combination of the two. You get the flexibility of green stuff with the uh, strength of uh, milliput. Some of the resin prints had some uh, discoloration on them. I suspect that that's due to the uh, colder temperatures in my garage because the temperature has been dropping the past few days, but it doesn't really affect the usability of the print.
This video is a part of a series of desert terrain tutorials that I'm uh, going to be doing. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, I'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. That would help me out a lot. The base colors were down and the models were looking pretty good, but I wanted to add a little bit more definition, so I went in with a few more colors to kind of lighten and darken certain spots.
going into this project, I had a pretty vague idea of what I wanted to do. I kind of did some rough sketches, but what I ended up with didn't really turn out to look like that at all. I really wanted to incorporate these uh, yellow meadow flowers from Army Painter. But once I put them on, I thought they looked a little too uh, vibrant. So I made this mixture of Mod Podge and paint and uh, tried to uh, dull the colors a little bit. The first time it wasn't quite enough, but the second time I added some burnt umber ink to the mix. And that seemed to do a pretty good job of doling the color down a little bit. I just didn't really like the lime green color of the stems. And I think the brown wash blended the flowers in a lot better. 